Breaking overnight in Ukraine, at least five people were killed and nearly 40 others injured in a Russian missile attack near a university in the northern city of Chernihiv. The deadly attack comes as the U.S. announced it will allow its allies to send American-made F-16 fighter jets to the war-battered country once Ukrainian pilots are trained to use them. CBS News has been reporting from the war zone throughout the conflict alongside journalists from around the world, including one man whose award-winning images are capturing the heartache of his own homeland. Remy Innocencio tells us more. Homes shattered by a Russian missile, roads littered with the machines of war, children who have learned loss. How many photos do you think you've taken? I cannot even tell the number. Like tens of thousands? <laughs> No. No? More? Much more. Much more. Hundreds of thousands. I assume, yes. Wow. Roman Pilipi is an award-winning Ukrainian photographer and friend capturing Russia's invasion of his country. You have seen his work in the world's biggest papers and websites, but you may not have known it. Photos of farewells, snapshots of sadness. We first met living and working in China before COVID. And then now we're halfway around the world here in Ukraine together again. I couldn't imagine that uh, at that time that uh, we going to sit in Ukraine in a war country, in my country. When this war started, he says there was no question he had to come back. The first Ukrainians he photographed in Poland at Warsaw's packed train station. The first refugees of more than six million now. They all were desperate. For them, it was like a trip to nowhere. They all were on bags, on, mm. on not knowing what's going to happen to them next. Then he boarded that train they arrived in on and set to work. So basically the train back to Kyiv was empty. Just uh, some men. and They were coming back from their comfortable life in Europe to, yeah, to, to fight for their country. In the country, the war broke families apart, as men stayed to fight. In this photo, Alek passes to Yana, to, to his wife, uh, their son Maxim, through the fence, over the fence, so that she can take a train. This photo represents to me a U Ukrainian families now. And many had to say goodbye forever, publicly and privately. This lone soldier, Yaroslav, mourning his father at a crematorium moments before the fire. No other people, no wife, no, his mo no, no mother of, of Yaroslav, no other relatives. After Russia's month-long occupation of Bucha, a city now synonymous with massacre, Pilipi took his most memorable photo, which went on to be a 2023 Picture of the Year international finalist. This is uh, Vladislava and on the left it's her sister. So they both of them, two Bucha residents, um, they, they didn't see each other during the occupation because they were living in different sides of, of the town. Mm. And they didn't know what happened to each other. That's the moment where they met each other first, for the first time. In other images, even for a few minutes, happiness is seen. Here, with a serviceman and his new bride they need to keep living, right? So they try to have joy, to enjoy their life, mm -hmm. but at the same time, they, they don't forget that what's going on in, in the country. Are you a stronger photographer by allowing the emotions you see in, or do you try to shut it out and just take the photo? When people are happy, I'm happy with them. But if there is sad moments, yeah, you, just, you, you feel all of the pain. How long do you think you'll stay in Ukraine? Till the end of war, till Russians leave Ukraine. To document for history, to remember all those lost, and to capture humanity at its worst and at its best. For CBS Saturday Morning, Remy Innocencio, Kyiv, Ukraine.